Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book haul. Today we're talking about all the stuff that I got in January. Um, I got quite a lot. Uh, in fact, some of the stuff I'm going to have to take pictures of because I'm just not going to go through every single last one of the books. My library was having a dollar a bag sale and I literally brought trash bags. Um, I just filled up stuff. Most of this stuff is going up on eBay. Um, especially the thrillers that I post in pictures. I'm going to post them somewhere around here at some point in time in the video. Um, probably toward the end. If you want any of these books, please contact me here. Um, email me, edwardlauren at gmail.com. Contact me on Instagram or Twitter. Both of those are at Edward Lorne. It's the channel name, so if you have any uh, problems spelling it, it's uh, L-O-R-N. But it's down there in channel name. Just use that, no space. Um, I'm going to go ahead, uh, jump into it. I don't have, there are so many books here that I don't have, I didn't uh, go through and check which ones were free, which ones I paid for, or which ones, uh, I will tell you which ones were gifts. But right off the bat, this one, Armistad Moppin's Tales of the City. This was a cover buy, something that's probably just going to end up going up on eBay. It's in really good condition, um, but I got it. it. It sounded interesting, and then I looked into it a little bit more, and it's probably not my style. So, that, that one, that's, that was part of, I think, the library. I'll just go ahead and tell you where I got all those. That's part of the, thing, the uh, books that I just put into a bag. Uh, next up, I got Nevada Bar um, Hunting Season. I probably look at the titles before I talk to you guys. Uh, hunting season. I am Nevada Bar is a guilty pleasure of mine. Her stuff, uh, her writing isn't the best in the world. Like uh, if you, I'm just gonna open up the first page. The priest was droning on exorably uh, toward till death do us part, and Anna began to get nervous. At some point over the years, the well-worn phrase had come to feel more like a sinister threat than a romantic promise. I, it makes me chuckle, but I enjoy them. Uh, same with Nelson DeMille's. <laughs> Some of his writing is terrible, but uh, I enjoy the stories. Next up is one that I tried in ebook three times and ended up DNFing it and giving it one star review, but I'm going to try it again for Operation Thriller, and that's Killing Floor by Lee Child. Um, I, I, it just feels like your typical thriller, but that's the point of my Operation Thriller series. I've only done one episode so far, and that was uh, for Vince. Flynn, that didn't go well either. But I'm gonna try this once again. Both of, both these books were part of the library. Uh, fill a fill a bag up. Next up, I have two copies of the same book because I was just grabbing grabbing stuff. Um, I felt like a you know I felt like a, I was on a shopping spree basically. And that's the Comedians by Graham Greene. I have two copies of this book. Two copies. I have Penguin's Classic Edition and then a smaller Penguin uh, paperback. Edition. <laughs> so I got two copies. One of those will go up on eBay for sure. Alright, next up, this one this one really sounded interesting to me. The uh, uh the the Biley Eaters. It's a book about bread. And I, I bake bread. It's uh the story of a bread and a lost world by Mimi Sheraton. This actually came from Thrift Books, but this is a uh it has a thrift book barcode on the side. But this one I got, once again, the library in that uh, bag of, whole bag of books. They said, bring your own bag. So I brought trash bags and the guy, the, I don't, I guess he was a li librarian behind the counter said, I don't, I don't see why not. That's the whole reason is to get rid of these books. Um, so I will either be repurposing these books as in like, you know, selling them on eBay or giving them away to friends or whatever. So definitely if you guys want any of these books, let me know down there. I mean, the worst thing I'm going to say is no or it's gone or whatever. Some of these are for me though. I think I'm getting through all the ones that I got uh, just to repurpose uh, first, and then I'm going to get to the ones that I'm keeping is what it looks like. Uh, let's see here. Oddly enough, I think subconsciously that's how I arranged everything. Very strange. This one is The Middlesteens by Jamie Attenberg. Yeah, I heard a lot about Attenberg, and I'm interested, so I'll probably end up tr at least trying this one, like the first 50 pages or so. Because um, when I want to try a new author, usually that's what I do. I go through the first 50 pages and see if it's, you know, if it's my jam or not. Next up, we get into the stuff. Yeah, we're getting into the stuff now that I bought for me because it looked like something that 
you know, I'm, I'm interested in. This one is Smunk by Tom Franklin. Th this one, uh, it, I'm not going to lie, Entertainment Weekly said down here, writing in a profane, no quotation marks dialogue mode that mixes William Faulkner, Cormac McCarthy, and Deadwood's David Milch. I like both Milch and McCarthy, um, and then goes on to say, Franklin pulls off a unique Western saga. Um, so I'm interested in this. The only thing is, when when they call something a saga, and it's only like 250 pages long, can that be a saga? I don't know. I feel like a saga means like it's a big epic story kind of deal. But, yeah, anyways. But that one's, that one's definitely for me. Uh, next up is... If you guys have been watching the channel at all uh, back for, for a while and watching the uh, Book of the Month Club unboxings, there was one bookmark with this author, with a quote from this author on the bookmark, and somebody uh, brought, up, brought them up in the comments section. So I am going to, I, I'm going to try this book. It's called The Namesake by a name that I am going to screw up. Jampa Lahiri? Jampa? I'm not sure. But... This sounds pretty good. Um, meet the gang. I don't want to offend anybody. The Ganguly family, uh, new arrivals from Calcutta, trying their best to become Americans, even as they pine for home. Um, it sounds interesting. I like family stories. I like immigrant stories. So I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Um, it does say down here an exquisitely detailed family saga. Again, this is a saga. It's only 287 pages. I mean, I guess you can fit a lot of stuff, I, I should know, you can fit a lot of content into 300, under 300 pages, but who knows? Um, but definitely, let me know what you think a saga should, how long a saga should be down there in the doobly-doo. Next up, uh, I'm going to get into uh, gifts, just real quick, uh, my friend Wayne uh, Fenlon sent me Splatterpunk Forever. You guys, if you watch the unboxing for Wayne uh, Wayne Fenlon, you'll, you'll get more into this. And this awesome copy of The Gunslinger, which is a library binding. And I got really excited in the video because I don't have any library binding. So those of you that thought it was funny that I got excited over library binding, I don't have any of these. So yeah, I'm super excited about, about owning that now. Thank you again, Wayne. Uh, next up, we have Cellivision, I think. Yeah, Cellivision by Augustine Burroughs. I've heard him compared to Brett Easton Ellis and a couple other authors that I enjoy, so I'm I'm really looking forward to this one. In fact, I'll probably get to this one within the next month, I would say. No, not within the next month, because it's Women of Horror Fiction Month. Uh, so I'll probably get to it in March, along with some other stuff that I've been putting off way too long. Alright, next up, I'm going to go ahead and show all three of them. This is nuts, y'all. I found this at the library. Um, all that stuff, except for... The stuff that Wayne sent me was in that bag that I got from the library. So are these. This is Cormac McCarthy's tri uh, Border Trilogy in hardcover, yo. Each one, hardcover. I have two of them in paperback, but I got all these. I mean, I got probably, uh, let's see here, 30, no, there's more than that. Probably 50 books for a dollar, and these three were in that. They're just sitting on the shelf. Just waiting to be picked up. So it has all the pretty horses, the crossing, and cities of the plain. It, it's going to need some care because it's got stickers all over it. But I'll, I'll take care of that. If you guys want me to do a sticker removal video, because I'm pretty dang good, good at it. If you guys want to see that, let me know down there in the comments below. Okay, next up we have, of course I already own this, but Heart Shaped Box. It's a paperback. I couldn't pass it up simply because I don't care too much for reading my first edition hardcovers. So I will be reading um, Heart Shape, rereading all of his stuff, and definitely need this. I have a paperback copy of Horns and 20th Century Ghosts. I need paperback copies of uh, Nosferatu, The Fireman, and Strange Weather uh, before I'll actually do the reread. Next up, this one. Oh, this thing is so heavy, and uh, honestly, this is one of the ones I'm not looking forward to because I've already tried it once. But me and Cammy's Corner or Cammy of Cammy's Corner, will be doing a complete read-through of Clive Barker's works. I have not read all of his books yet. I've only read, uh, all the way through, I've only read The Thief of Always and The Books of Blood. I haven't been able to finish a single one of his novels. But we'll be starting with Books of Blood and going all the way up until, I guess, The Scarlet Gospels, right? Unless uh, Deep Hill or whatever the heck that book's called, unless that comes out, and then we'll be ending there. But I got Cold Heart Cannon. Cold Heart Canyon. 
Yes, a Hollywood ghost story or something. This book is massive. It is, oh, deckled edges. Ooh, that's, I love deckled edges. Um, 676 pages in hardcover. So you know this is a thick boy. That's a thick boy. Next up, this one is purely educational. If I ever read it, I will not be doing a review of it. Um, I don't know if you guys know that about me, but when I uh, read educational nonfiction, I don't do reviews of it because I don't feel qualified to review it. So this is Time Travel in Einstein's Universe, J. Richard Gott. It just looked really interesting, and if any of you guys are following my Bayzen series, All Things Lead to the End, or the Cruelty series, you know I do some tiny whiny stuff in there. Alright, next up we're getting into gifts again from my friend Terry, who's awesome. Uh, she sent me John Hart's Iron House. I think that's, yeah, Iron House. Which I have two of this dude's books, I just never read it. Um, oddly enough, I, I always got him confused with an indie author that I don't like named uh, Joe Hart, I think. Um, I always got those two guys confused, so I never read John Hart's stuff. But they're completely different authors. Who would have thought? They have completely different first names. Um, also, she sent me Awakened, which uh, my buddy Erica also has. So, Erica, if you want to do a buddy read again, if you didn't hate me too much after Witches of Eastwick, let's do this one. Um, or maybe it was William's pick. I'm not sure. Which one of you, which one of you grabbed it? Because she, she does, she puts her husband's uh, picks in her book hauls also. Next up is, you guys are going to be like, what? what? Why'd you get that? Th this was actually a mistake, but we're going to go through this very, uh, very, very slowly. I'm going to slow down for this one. So this is World Scene in Passing, 10 Years of Tor.com Short Fiction, edited, uh, edited by Irene Gallo. Okay, here's here, here here here's the problem with this. Someone sent me an email saying I found um, who goes there, and you can click on this and go over and get who goes there. It's in a collection. Well, I clicked over there, and it sent me to this book. I bought this book. The problem with that is that story is not in here. So whoever sent that email, I don't know if you sent me the wrong thing, but that's how I ended up getting this. Um, luckily, it wasn't too expensive. This is a second-hand copy. Um, it, it doesn't look like it, but it was only like six or seven bucks used. And it's in really good condition. I mean, I got a dent here and there, but that's why I got it. Am I going to read it? You damn skippy, I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to try to anyways. I mean, it's short stories. I can do one short story a night, you know, until, well, actually, th these jokers. Hold up. Hold up. I've been wanting to meet, read sci-fi again. Yeah, it's 565 pages. How many? Ten years. Is that one story a year? Or is it like, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not because it's it's got a whole list of peoples back here. So, um, last but certainly not least, I'm actually extremely excited about this one. Uh, a viewer of the channel, oddly enough, just got through reading it. Um, I'd never heard of it before, and all of a sudden I'm seeing it everywhere. It's not a new book, uh, but this is a werewolf novel called Those Across the River by Christopher Buhlman. Buhl? 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 Buhlman? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, oh, I just noticed it has a Charlene Harris. I hope this ain't urban fantasy, is it? Dear Orville Francis. I don't know. I'm not going to read too much into it because I'm excited about it. Um, I do like werewolf fiction. To an extent, I like when new things are done with werewolf fiction. If it's just werewolves running around, like uh, Stephen Graham Jones's Mongrels, that was amazing. Um, I tend to like trope fiction when the trope is not the point of the book. Um, if the point of the book is just vampire action or like Twilight, which is a love story with vampires, I don't, I don't care about that stuff. Um, but and I'm not just trying to hate on Twilight. There's plenty of stuff like that out there. Um, like romantic, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, paranormal romance? Can't stand that crap. Um, but this one I'm excited for. It's by Ace, which is, I believe, a fantasy publisher. So I'm looking forward to a deep dive into werewolves. Maybe. I'm probably overshooting here, but I'm also trying to keep my expectations lower. Um, but I am just looking forward to some werewolf action because I do enjoy a good werewolf story they're just few and far between um, at this point in time I'm going to put up pictures uh, right here and right here I don't know how many pictures are gonna cycle through 
but I got several Clive Cussler, James Patterson, um, Vince Flynn, Stephen Hunter. I got several of their books. The reason I got them is because they sell really, really well on eBay. So I'll put whole lots of those up there. If you want any of these books, you need to let me know as quickly as possible because next week they're going up on eBay. I would link you to eBay, but unfortunately, uh, what is it called? YouTube does not like it when you link outside of their website for monetary purposes. Uh, don't ask me why they allow Patreon to do it. Probably because it's more of a creator site, but at eBay they don't work well with. And every time I put a link to eBay, um, I either get demonetized or they send me a nice little note going, you're not supposed to do this. So, until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book haul video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Stub out my cigarette Pour myself another dream It's been so long since I endured